we are backstage with Kid in Play. Just left the stage. Just tore the stage up. Um, I have to ask you guys, after all these years, what has kept you guys still doing this together? The money. <laughs> These baby mamas don't pay for themselves and shit. <laughs> but no, it's a friendship. It's, it's, um, it's fun. Like 30 years plus, if not more than that. And I'm only 35. Exactly. It's amazing. You know, it's amazing. You know, I amazing. found him on my doorstep and I couldn't get rid of him. It was like one black man and a baby. But a friendship. Uh, and then it, we bring something both to each other's table. Like at a time when I, there was uncertainty for me in regards to... Um, being out there in the streets, this cat, he was doing his thing in school, it intrigued me. I like the words he'd bring to the, to the conversation, to the relationship. Right. Plus he knew all the, the answers to Jeopardy, which intrigued right. the heck out of me. Right. And for me... And I, on the I, other I, hand, I was tired of getting beat up every time I left my home. So I needed some... Taught him how to talk to women. So like the Blake Brown thing was real? Lingo, uh, thank you very much. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. My speech is moist. <laughs> My speech is voice. My speech is voice. Okay. Um, What's the other forever question? Another yeah. forever right. question. Forever, forever, ever? Forever, ever? How many people have have blamed you guys for getting broken ankles trying to do that damn dance? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, quite a bit. A lot of them. I almost had one tonight. A lot, a lot of lawsuits out there. I know. I almost, I don't know. Was oh, it you that bumped into me? Something I like did. That. I, I, almost, like a meteor. I, almost, I almost took yeah. us both down. Yeah, but no, we, it was a trick, to the, especially the jumping over the leg thing. It was a sneaker you had to wear. It was a Nike oh, Cortez. Ooh. And you needed to practice on a mattress, a mattress on the floor. Or in the pool. Or in the pool. The pool was a good spot to, to practice it. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Now we still like to jump What's around. What's up, Grouch, Grouchy Greg? Ooh. Yeah, my man. Huh? Chuck Cremore mm -hmm. in the building. Okay, okay. Um, cool now, names. So you got, you got a whole new generation of kids learning how to sneak out of the house and evade their pops. And some of them are our kids. Oh, okay, okay. So <laughs> These days they're breaking into houses, but anyway. Oh, oh. wow, wow. Okay. Um, trying to explain to a 16... Break into a house party. <laughs> yeah, you know, break into your local house party. <laughs> I was trying to explain to a 16-year-old like a week ago about rehearsing the dance scene from the movie. And the question was, why? Like, well, so you, so you could do the dance. And they were like, why? They didn't understand what a house party looked like. Well, I mean, you know, when you look at the music videos today, what compels you to have a house party? It's really about going to the club or at best maybe a block party. Right. But I mean, we got a lot of faith in today's kids. I mean, you know, there, there's a lot. I know I joked about them breaking in, but I, I'm around a lot of positive youth, so, so is kids. And the future looks good. It's just the media needs to shine a light on those cats that are making a difference and going to school and doing what they're supposed to do. But as far as, I don't know, you know, is there very many house parties? You know, I know there's club parties. You know, right. Well, you know what I heard? Yeah. You know, there was some cats yeah. that came up and they said, like, this generation, they don't call them house parties. They call them, um, they call them kickbacks. So, you know, there's that generation where, you know, you cut in school or your parents are out of town. I mean, that generation is always going to, you know what I mean? That, that type of stuff, doing stuff behind your parents' backs, so that's always kind of going to exist. Um, you know, we just hope, you know, you do it. Responsibly. Yeah, 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 exactly. As, right. As an oxymoron. Disappoint your parents responsibly. <laughs> when you do that, at least. You know. <laughs> okay, last question. What's it like to see... what? What's it like to see a whole new generation looking exactly how you all used to look when you came out? Some kid usually says, I mean, the thing is, is that for whatever reason, we ended up becoming the, the poster boys or the poster faces for those particular haircuts. But we came out of an era where that was like pretty popular. But to see like the NBA embracing it, a lot of the kids now, you know, taking it and putting like a unique spin on it and stuff. You know, in addition to the to the hairstyles, I mean, you know, people of all ages seem to embrace, you know, the kid and play dance. I mean, we, we had no idea that that would happen. It was just something that we thought was cool, something we like to do. And, you know, that stuck around too. So, you know, that's cool. Plus, it takes two to do it. It takes the two to do it. It's out there that you need two people right. to do it. And then somewhere in that shows that there has to be some kind of a relationship. Involved. Right. You can't do the kid and play. Without. Someone you don't know because <laughs> you'll just be kicking another dude and in the a fight will break out because exactly and the party's exactly. over exactly so you know get get you get know, permission get to know exactly get permission, permission and get practice. permission to kick get your right. friend that's right Can I kick you? excuse me get um, right okay and then I do have one more I do have one more um I lied. She lied. 
lie. You a liar. I'm a liar. You Skyhook liar. is a liar. You, a liar. <laughs> you lied, Kizzy. You lied. Oh my God. Okay, now this is actually playing into the question because you guys started off like the first song I remember hearing from you was Getting Funky. Um, and, and you were like three years old. <laughs> we'll talk about that Your later. Auntie told you about us. We'll talk about that later. What made you guys decide to take a comedic turn? Because there was definitely a hole for that and the storytelling and everything in the lyrics. How are you going to be serious with haircuts like we had back there? That like is how hilarious. Are people take she said there was a hole for that. <laughs> I mean, there was definitely, there weren't that many people who were doing it as as well as you guys ended up doing it. What, and the, the antics? Or? Uh, well, not even the we antics, few, but the, honestly, with the lyrics. Absolutely. We had, a, we had a few predecessors. You know, the fat boys found a way to use hip hop and comedy. Um, you know, to be honest, to a, to a lesser degree, Run DMC, um, you know, when they were doing movies, You talk too much? They but, had a, you know yeah, they had a way of, you know, there was a way of um, injecting comedy into it. So but human sure. comedy among your homeboys was never, never really got to shine and it should have got, because I don't care from the thuggest of thugs, gangsters of gang, whatever, there was always inside jokes, there was always snapping on each other, there was always a dozen, you know, mama jokes, all of that. Even the skits, like on um, Funhouse, even the mama skits were hilarious. Joe mama. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. She just said the skits, you mean the skits in Funhouse? I'm talking about the end when you're laughing. Yeah, exactly. Like every sketch. <laughs> like <laughs> laughing. Turn the camera, these people over here. Everybody over here's gonna Come on, look at that. Talk about laughing. Jesus. Like, oh, there no, was one where you're talking about one. plays convulsing on the floor. Yes. Well, yes. That one was you know freaking is, hilarious. This, this is the thing, though. Not, not for nothing. What thing on the floor was hilarious? Every time you freaking laugh. <laughs> you like, we, you like, sounded no, like you fell out of the chair or something. I don't know what it is, but. For some reason, it's easy to make this guy hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> when it's funny. <laughs> when it's funny, yeah, yeah. So she's talking about when he was like, yeah, when you, he's off the chair. Don't be shy, boy, or something like that. And then all of a sudden, he's just like, boy. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it was like. How can you not be with this guy and don't crack up? There's like three people in my life to make me crack up him, my son, and somebody else out there. But anyway, come on. it's a very <laughs> short list. You know, monkey me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Shout out to Herbie Love Bug. <laughs> monkey me. And that's the laugh right there. That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's the too laugh inside. That's too inside. Hundred But not on the on the series tip. I um, want to laugh. I like to laugh. Yeah, There's not like, enough laughter. Honestly, and yeah, and these shows like tonight, we get a chance to perform with. So many great friends of ours from back in Mo the days. D, every, every show, Cass, every show is like Kwame, a high school reunion. You know right. what I'm saying? Even Mike G from the uh, uh, Fearless Four. That's right. Mike C. I mean, the list goes Mike on. C, Mike C, Mike G, Mike D, Mike B, Mike E, you know F, what I'm Mike saying? G. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got a lot of mics. Nice. We got five mics. Oh.